could there be an IFA galaxy even without Sundra mutual fund? No. Yes, Sundra mutual fund has been supporting us right from day one. And today we have our own Sunil Subramaniam to come here and deliver the inaugural address. Mr. Sunil Subramaniam actually requests no introduction. He is known to all of us. So he is so very popular for his dynamic, energetic and power packed presentation. Without further ado, let me invite Mr. Sunil Subramaniam. Over to you, Mr. Sunil Subramaniam. Good afternoon, my friends from IFA Galaxy. It's a very, very happy feeling to be e-connecting with all of you, right? A new dynamic, a new change, and a new methodology, but which is as effective as we know in our daily lives. While thanking IFA Galaxy for giving me this opportunity to the inaugural session, I also wanted to point out that this is probably the first time that I'm going to speak without a presentation, right? I'm going to speak extempo because I'm going to talk this topic based around something which is very close to my heart. So I don't need a presentation to speak about what I'm going to speak. And what is that? Those three key foundations and pillars of this conference, right? Conviction, collaboration, consolidation, right? I'm going to use Sundaram Mutual Fund as my anchor to explain this. Why? Because this happens to be the 25th year of our existence. Thank you all for your support. And because in this 25 year journey, I personally have spent more than 60% of its life with the company, that is 15 plus years. So there's been so much learnings in this journey and which are very relevant to the topics. I don't know what caused IFA Galaxy to choose it, but I felt it was very relevant to Sundaram's journey. And so my thought process was that I can share with you how these three things have helped Sundaram in his journey. And so that when the experts speak on each of these topics, you can then relate it. So that's going to be my simple approach. And without further ado, let me start off with the first one, conviction. <clears throat> now, why do we need conviction? Because God has landed us in this industry which is in the middle of a storm forever and ever and ever, right? We all know for those, we've been in the business for more than two decades, right? There is never a dull moment. There is volatility of news flows. There's volatility of liquidity. There's volatility of the stock market performance. There's volatility of the business cycles of the economy. There's the volatility of your customer's thought process changing because change is the only constant. And you, are the person who has to deal with all that volatility. And as you know, right, the palm tree which stands firm, but at the same time sways but doesn't fall, is the one which lasts through the storm, right? So conviction, deep-rooted conviction is the only force, right? It's like a lighthouse in the stormy sea, right? Which cannot be shaken. So conviction is absolutely critical because the customer at the other end. So in all of these three seats, let's remember one thing. All the three threes have an arrow pointing to that fourth C, which is the customer. So everything that you look at has to be for the benefit of the customer. So whether it is conviction, consolidation, anything, it has to be ultimately for the benefit of that customer. So your conviction is the biggest gift that you can give to that customer because when we see somebody else being confident, we get confidence. So your primary role, forget about knowledge, forget all of that I'll come to, but your primary role is to convey the conviction so that the customer 
it rubs on on him and he gets calmed through the stormy waters so i think that reason for conviction i think i have now made it very clear now let me relate it to sundaram so well, sundaram started our journey in 1996 right we initially wanted to be a debt fund manager because sundaram finance was debt in 2002 even newton left for various reasons and we at sundaram mutual had to think our own thinking by my predecessors mr tp raman and uh, mr prasad who was the cio they chose saying india is going to be an equity country and within india it's going to be mid and small caps which are going to be the wealth creating multi baggers a conscious choice that they did they launched the sundaram select mid cap fund and from that day to today even today 60% of our portfolio comes from mid and small cap stocks now as you know they are the most volatile so we chose to be in the area of conviction in the probably the most tempestuous the most volatile area but that did not shake our foundations of believing in the mid cap story yes there are some prices we have to pay what is the price yes our performance becomes volatile our customers experience becomes volatile but sticking to that conviction means that for somebody who put 10 rupees at 10 rupee mv in mid cap fund in 2002 today his wealth has multiplied 60 times 60 the nav of mid cap fund has just touched 600 so for a customer from a customer's perspective regardless of the intermittent volatility i think our conviction around the mid cap space around the mid cap fund which even today accounts for a 35% of our fund houses equity am as a single largest flagship fund has delivered 60 times that customer cannot be unhappy right so here i wanted to use our own experience to tell you that that conviction born by what so for conviction what do you need you need knowledge and sundaram adopted the role of probably packing our team with the most number of research analysts in the industry right that knowledge is what has helped that long term wealth creation happen so i think that with that example i can tell you that many times there may be naysayers and doubters saying oh you have pitched your hat around the mid cap story such a volatile wouldn't it have been better to be large cap and be more stable but the customer support and i hear i would like to define when i keep saying customer 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 please remember one thing which i will take into my next point that for us the customer is you the advisor stroke distributor the ultimate customer is your customer and by servicing you i am servicing him so that's a second derivative for me right so for me when i say customer please put yourself into that shoes from that customer's perspective the support that you have given us despite being what is the price we have paid the price we have paid is scale if you were in the large cap because your bsc 500 index has 80% large cap so if you had been in a large cap you probably much bigger than us than then any point in time but because we believed in that story we stuck to it but your support has meant that in these 25 years we've never made a loss we've had 25 years of consistent profitability we may have given up scale but we have maintained the profitability please remember that so the courage of conviction so i would like to rephrase conviction as having courage of conviction so let me now move to the next leg right that is the collaboration right again i will use sundaram towards the latter half of my talk in terms of this point but first of all why the need for collaboration all of you in your basic english textbooks would have heard this proverb right jack of all trades master of none so what is the meaning of that the meaning of that is you cannot become master of all trades so the first thing about collaboration is that it is a token of humility it is a recognition that you cannot be a master of everything but your customer needs everything and what that everything is will keep changing so you have to be able to get that across to the customer you cannot say that i will use the knowledge part of the conviction and say i'll get knowledge in everything the customer wants it's impossible right so this jack of all trades is generally seen as negative because it says that oh you don't know anything about anything doesn't matter 
I'm not saying that jack of all trades is the uh, allegory that I want to use. What I want to use the allegory is the fact that your role vis-a-vis -vis your customer is like the conductor of an orchestra. The conductor of an orchestra is not the best violinist, best drummer, best no. He knows to get the best out of those people. He knows to get the best out of the violinist. He knows to get the best out of the drummer, the best out of the cello player, the best out of the veena player, everybody. And what is his role? Not only to pick the best veena player, the best guitar player, but to make them speak in symphony. If they don't, there will be just noise and you'll walk out of the concert. The whole has to come together. And that is your role, my dear friends, that in the collaboration thing, you have to think of yourself is that I am conducting a symphony for my investor. I'm going to bring the experts in the best place. You can be an expert in one of them. No problem at all. But your role is also that in the process of collaboration, what you're delivering to that customer must be music must be soft and pleasant and hearable music and not noise and not just for the sake because in these days of google where google has become a verb it's easy to just put something together and give it but you have to be conscious is that collaborating collaboration becoming effective from solving the customer's needs which are constantly evolving so your mix of guitar and this has to change so that word, which is called Talmil in Hindi, I don't know the Tamil word for it, but that's the way you should look at it. And from Sundaram's perspective, like I said, I want to bring a Sundaram example. There are two things I want to point out. At two stages in our life, we have chosen to collaborate. Once with Newton, next with BNP Paribas. Newton brought us debt speaking, debt skills. BNP Paribas brought us risk management skills from abroad, institutional management skills. So when we needed, we took them on board. And the third one is the principal acquisition. While it's an acquisition, while Sundaram is buying out principal, we view that as a collaboration. A significant proportion of principal's team will be integrated. We are not looking at buying it, stripping it of the cost, and then taking it. Not at all. We view the principal transaction. I don't want to call it acquisition anymore. We view the principal transaction as a collaboration between two. And why? Let me focus two minutes on that. Why is it the collaboration? I talked about a conductor. Our strength in mid and small cap, we wanted to blend with their strength in large and mid cap. And second, our strength in IFA is complemented by their strength in IFA. Right? Then, our reasonable presence in the banking system can be complemented by their products not having too much banking approval. So we can then fulfill the needs of that segment. So it is a collaborative spirit to make the customer, that is, my dear friends, yourself, life, all your needs. You used to come to Sundaram for mid-cap. You have a 6% share of the mid-cap AUM of the country, whereas the overall market share is one. Six times you have supported us with that. But... You have needs for others, and through this collaboration, we would like to play a larger part in solving your needs. So I hope that example, but that is not. The icing on the cake is still yet to be told by me on the collaboration part. What is that, dear friends? It is that right from the beginning, right from my predecessor's time, and I have continued, is the collaboration with IFA associations, the lead among them being IFA Galaxy, to deliver to you what you need. By supporting IFA Galaxy with our contribution, by being present there, what are we doing? We are making sure that we are playing a crucial role in the knowledge, in the networking skills of the IFA, and uh, whether you call them IFA, MFD, RIA, whatever, of the advisor community. So we believe that our spirit of engaging with IFA Galaxy, with the Wealth Forum, with Cafe Mutual, all of these are in the spirit of collaboration that we can't go and provide every knowledge to the advisor. But we would like to facilitate through our partnerships with the advisor associations, the MFD associations, the full complete solution package to an advisor, what they need to execute their goal, which is satisfaction of their customer and long-term wealth creation adequately. So I think with that, let me move on to the final denouement of today, which is the 
consolidation phase right now the consolidation phase uh, i think that it's important to think about it in a different perspective right i know that the brief given you have looked at it amit bivalkar is going to talk later on how they you know merged the uh, various uh, ifas into one mega ifa so all of those are a given but i'd like to bring a slightly different perspective here right on what is this consolidation all about the consolidation is about the fact that ideally everybody would like to run a variable cost to business right varu etana selavu patana illama varu patana selavu etana sorry i have spoken tamil it is about the making sure that if you can buy if you are a trader wholesale trader tomato trader who goes to coimbatore market buys 100 kilos of tomatoes at 20 rupees a kilo sells it at 22 rupees he knows his profit is 2 rupees his fixed cost is very less just the cost of the hand cart goes there and brings it back we would all like to do that business but life is not like that because life is split between two things fixed cost variable cost life is split between two things profitability and profits please pay uh, little bit of attention to what i'm saying when you run a variable cost business you can run it profitably profitable profitability is the important that is every sale do you make that one paise or one rupee or two rupees you are good but because you in order to provide a full scale solution to the customer because you have transaction cost because fixed costs are an inevitable part of life right and when you incur larger fixed cost your solution delivering capability improves dramatically investment in computers and technology investment in a good office so that you give a comfortable space for the customer to sit investment in a good selling uh, you know sales staff who can do knowledge based advice and selling to the customer so without investing in the business now the problem is earlier upfront commissions used to layer off the fixed costs but with the regulator in one stroke removing that the burden of incurring that fixed cost now at this point i want to say take that cost factor out of your mind take this cost because i kept using the word cost to drill it but i am saying now look at that word cost and substitute it with the word investment right you need to make an investment in your business so that you can provide the best value to your customer that investment for each individual person to do is galling because will then the scale because along with the investment scale becomes important because you must make at least enough business to cover that fixed cost after that everything goes straight to the bottom line so you have to fundamentally shift in this new age from the profitability model to a profit model for which you have to make sure that investment cost is minimized without compromising on what you need to give that's best achieved by another c collaboration so this consolidation is actually a collaboration with other people whether you choose to do it that's why i said a slightly different attitude is whether you choose it through a marketing partnership whether you choose to do it through a through a merger whether you do it through a strategic alliance these are all mechanics but the key point is you must not give up the thought of investment because you can't afford it you have to get together like minded people across geographies across sectors get together in an alliance leave it to the auditors and others to tell you what is the best structure to do so that you can incur a reasonable amount of fixed investment to then provide a full service which automatically will scale up your business because there are such providers who have already invested are going to be few and far between right so that will itself give you an usp and a market share and a sustainability to your business because in this process the corporate entity automatically creates its own succession through directors and to all that and it also helps to create a facade of an institution to the customer that comfort also comes to him and where this sundram as in every argument i have been using sundram as my uh, key point to make right where the sundram feature in this sundram again the principal transaction is what it is about investment we have made an investment for 25 years they have made an investment for 20 years but we have the same back end rnt provider 
we have the same overlapping distributors we have the same overlapping geographies we have the same so the process of putting them together gets us the scale and at the same time complements our portfolio right there is a investment being made right again i'm not using the word cost in 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 buying principal there is an investment being made in getting a partnership with the principal team so that two and two can then make five the hindi movie do or do panch you may have heard of so the principal what is that so we have a mid cap orientation they have a large cap orientation so the complementarity comes in the costs are common we can easily scale up our business so today both the teams put together with all our subsidiaries will be 50000 crores and our aim is that with only a 10 to 15% increase the investment needed it's not that because i do this i say no to investment another 10 to 15% investment needed we feel that we can get to a 100000 crore business so you can imagine that now you can understand that the word from profitability to profits because we just a 10 15% more investment for the combined entity we we believe we'll be able to double the scale of our business and maybe triple the number of advisors and quadruple the number of customers that we ultimately can service so with that let me bring my uh, talk to a close i think i have lived up to the time frame well within the time frame so babu should be able to thank me for having freed up some time but i think i have not missed out my points i think i have been able to blend it all i do hope ultimately using the example of sundaram mutual i brought across to you the value of conviction collaboration and consolidation for the ultimate benefit of the customer thank you friends and have a very fruitful two day session ahead of you right all my my all the very best to all of you wow what a fantastic cameo that one from mr sunil subramanya now we can go with confidence it gives immense confidence and gives a fantastic road ahead thank you so much mr sunil subramanyam for your swashbuckling presentation